Hello, Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have true worth. It says, my true worth is intrinsic and shines from my inner being, like a sacred jewel of love and compassion. So you're reading right from the beginning. There's a B in the throat chakra. And I've been saying this for a while. Something you need to say is going to sting. And so you're not really speaking up. Um, and it could be just a coping mechanism because I've never really seen Gemini's as someone who hold back a lot usually. Um, but there are certain sentiments of your life that maybe you're holding back. This is talking about recognizing that your well-being is just as important as the well-being of people around you. And the reason I say that is because I'm getting strong, empathic um, card readings for you guys right now. The first one that we have here is boundaries. It says, my clear boundaries allow me to protect myself and nurture my intentions and follow my true self. It's talking about getting out in nature, um, enjoying the, the views, the things that make you feel a little more lighthearted and free. Um, it definitely feels as if you guys are dealing with uncomfortable situations. I won't go as far as to call the energy around you as negative, but I will say that I'm getting the feeling that you're picking up on energies of people around you and you're kind of internalizing them and you may not be aware that you're doing it. If you're having pains in your knees or in your back or in your neck or that kind of thing, a lot of times as an empath, those pains that you feel are physical manifestations of what is being felt around you. If someone around you is very tense, you may be getting stiffness in your neck or in your back, for instance. Somebody around you has a lot of anxiety. You may have feelings in your stomach. Um, so this is talking about putting up clear boundaries, protecting your energy. So for some of you, you may want to think about investing in some black tourmaline, um, wearing it as jewelry or um, carrying it in your pocket. Um, salt baths are really good for cleansing away negative old energies. Just a couple of suggestions. The next one is listening to my body. And you can see that she's holding a bath bomb and she's soaking in the tub. And this is about taking care of yourself, but I mean this in a way of like pampering yourself, like respecting your own body and your own intuition and recognizing those signals in your body that something around you just is not right. Just like we talk about the gut feeling. Don't ignore the gut feeling. You may not understand why you have the gut feeling, but your gut is right. Something is off, right? And that out in her hand tells me that you have wisdom, that you have knowledge. Um, it's not something that you're not aware of. But you may be unaware of how it's affecting you physically. It says, my health is my life, the temple of my experience, and the greatest of my blessings. So yeah, soak in that tub of salt wear that black tourmaline, go out into nature. And the next card is love-based reality. It says, I am soul, I am soul nurtured when I surround myself with friends and family who support a love-based reality. So is your surroundings love-based? Is it free and light or is it heavy and cumbersome? Because in reality, we become what we surround ourselves with if we're not careful. So this is talking about respecting yourself enough to walk away from anything that doesn't feel good or feel right to you. Okay, so however that resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.